So if you've been online today checking out our Sun newspaper sites, you may have noticed something new. It's called Sun Plus. Today, the Sun newspaper chain's launching the new service to provide exciting and exclusive content for our readers. And to kick off the launch, columnists and reporters have been working on a series called Oh Cannabis. The exclusive series starts with a look ahead to what kind of country Canada may be 10 years after the decriminalization of pot. And while Canada isn't likely to follow Washington State or Colorado anytime soon, the call for more lenient drug laws is certainly growing stronger. Sun Media columnist Thane Burnett joins us now live. Good to have you with us. Thank you. We've certainly been keeping you busy. Yes, I have. This is my second home now. All right, perfect. So let's start with those on the front lines. I know that you've been crisscrossing the country, talking to folks, and, and really those that are pushing uh, for decriminalization of pot. Talk to us about some of the conversations you had and, and really their efforts. Yeah, many of these are longtime advocates. They've been at it for years and years. And I think what you're seeing, though, is re-energizing. When they look at Washington State, when they look at Colorado, suddenly within the U.S., they forced our general, as it were, in this war on drugs. You know, if they're seeing at least two states um, um, decriminalizing and making legal, well, you know, that inspires them to think, well, maybe they can get that conversation going among Canadians. Because let's face it, we've, it's been around for years, this debate, but we've never actually had a national conversation on whether you want to legalize pot. So they're high on hope. They are high on hope. Okay, I had to get that pun in there. Come on. Um, okay, so what do they see in terms of, you know, we mentioned there, it's not going to happen, let's say, tomorrow. But what do they see in terms of, like, down the road? What, how soon might this be a possibility? Well, it's certainly not going to happen with the, the Conservative government. They've right. made it plain that they are not going to move on this. Uh, and it's interesting when you talk to the advocates and you would say, okay, well, what about the Liberals? Um, they also hedge towards the Liberals because they've seen that flag wave before and they've seen no action, they've seen, you know, it not taken up. So they're not convinced on, uh, you know, of that as well. But they do figure that if you see uh, action in the states, if you see uh, what's going on in two states, which is being looked at, you know, Mexico is watching what's happening right. in the United States, Central America is watching, Europe is watching. So if they, they're more hedging on this sort of global movement, you know, pressuring and, and sort of resonating with, with ordinary Canadians who, who frankly don't care to smoke pot, don't want to smoke pot, but think, you know what? There's tax benefits. I'm tired of paying to have these guys go through the criminal system. There's money to be made and also, you know, protection to be uh, to be given. So. And actually to that point, you know, beyond those Canadians who are really looking forward to lighting up and it, and it being legal, why do you think all Canadians would be interested in this series. This is just part one of a, a really fascinating series, Oh Cannabis. That's right, and we take a look at uh, in the next coming days online again on in your sons online. We're looking at the political uh, fallout and whether there is wiggle room there, and we're also looking at what do the police say and 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 can a firefighter, if it was made legal, smoke up before uh, venturing out? So we're kind of answering those questions, and we're also asking our readers, you know, what do they think? Are they interested in 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 lighting up? And if they're not interested interested in lighting up, are they interested in perhaps the tax savings and, and what this would, you know, this sort of windfall would do? What do the stats tell you? I mean, you've done some research. What generally are the stats saying about how many Canadians, you know, is it most? Is it, is it some? Is it, is it a minority, majority? It, Actually, do you want to see this It is the majority. The, 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 la, the recent uh, surveys, uh, it's the majority. It's a majority among Conservatives, among Liberals, uh, certainly NDPers. Um, yeah, it is the majority, whether you're talking about legalization or whether you're talking about decriminalization. And what you're also seeing here is very interesting. You're seeing... Uh, um, experts, you're seeing, you know, not the usual kind of suspects, if we can say it that way, coming forward and saying, listen, it's time to rethink this. This mm -hmm. is not a criminal matter, it's a health matter, and it's also a matter for the government to, to tax rather than the, that money going to the bandits. All right, Thane Burnett, features writer and columnist for the QMI agency. Thanks, Thane. Thank you.